Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to talk about people who try to claim there's a double standard about blocking and banning people on YouTube. You're going to have people who will say, oh, you are not allowed to block people. You're not allowed to ban from channel. Oh, you can't do that. And these are normally trolls, basically. You know, people who like to go around and bully people and don't like their either their visualization privileges or communication privilege or their or their subscribing, favoriting playlist or commenting privileges taken away. Because normal people don't, sit, because most normal people don't sit there and then say, "Oh, I ain't gonna block and ban." Well. There are some people who don't block and ban, and that's their choice, okay? You're going to have these people that go around and try to make a double stand on the whole block and ban thing. You have know, some idiot, you know, that messes with you, so you block them and you ban them, and they're going to act like a freaking victim, and they're going to try to make you look like a bad person because you took their visual, took their visualization privilege away, or you took away their watching privilege or whatever. Oh, Jordan's a piece of shit. She goes around and blocks and bans people. You shouldn't be, you You know, you're not, you know, that's wrong. Oh, it's wrong. You're going to have these idiots that are going to claim that your YouTube channel has to follow the same rules as, let's say, a newspaper or a magazine or a television network, or a radio network. No, I don't have to do that. On YouTube, communicating with someone, letting someone comment on your channel or your videos, subscribing to your channel, watch your videos, favorite or playlist your videos, are all privileges. They're not rights, okay? Don't be throwing the right, the free speech at my face, because you and me have that right, okay? But don't sit there and say that, yo, that that protects you from bullying and harassing on YouTube because it doesn't. On my YouTube channel, when I block and ban you, you don't lose your right to free speech. You just lose your privilege to do it on my YouTube channel. Understand? These people basically think you shouldn't be able to block and ban people, okay? But they go around and bully and harass people. But they can't, but they think you shouldn't be able to block and ban them. Join your bib, your poop head. Join your poop head. Block, ban. Yeah, that's what they do. And then they go around, try and make it look like that you shouldn't have been able to do that. Okay? Now, for you people out there who might say, well, it doesn't work for me. Either two things. One, you actually did not use block user or ban from channel. That's the obvious. Or three, you're or free, you weren't signed into your YouTube channel. Really, I don't know. There are gonna be people who claim it doesn't work. But I can speak from my theory in saying that everyone who's messed with me that I've banned it since ban from channels come along, I've not seen them again. So obviously it works, you know. And this is how I think it looks like when someone gets blocked and banned. I can't communicate. I can't subscribe. I can't favor a playlist or watch or comment on videos or on channel. Fuck. So yeah. And for all you people out there who once again think that people who are blocking and banning are taking your right to free speech away, they ain't. People aren't coming in with ink erasers and erasers and going to the Constitution and saying, oh, where's the Bill of Rights at? And then erasing that. You know, nobody's doing none of that. When it's on YouTube or Daily Motion or whatever, it's a privilege, not a right. Okay. Obviously, you people get privileges and rights confused. So that's about it. I'm Jordan. I'll see you later.